Bitch, bitch. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Wee Gaming. Hey guys, welcome to another weekly game news update. This one will be on Nintendo. So, Nintendo didn't really have a press conference, instead they had a digital event. So, the start of the event had um, the president and CEO of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, fighting against Reggie, you should know him, Amer um, the president and COO of, you know, Nintendo of America. And they're, like, fighting, like, it's really funny, like, they're doing, like, this fight match, and they're, like, <laughs> and they're, like, they're blocking, it's, like, a, you know, over-the-top martial arts kind of fighting thing, it's pretty funny, and then all of a sudden, Iwata comes out with uh, Wii U, um, the gamepad, and Reggie comes out with the controller, and all of a sudden, now they're in, their Miis are fighting in Super Smash Bros., and it was pretty funny, I was like, what the heck, and at first, you, um, it seemed, what's it called, Reggie is beating Iwata, he kicks him out of the area, and then Iwata takes out a uh, Mario figurine and puts it on his the Wii U gamepad, and all of a sudden, <laughs> Mario's in the game and just destroys Reggie, and that was pretty much the end, and so after that, they they talk about, you know, the new thing, me fighters, so as I said before, their Miis were fighting, so now in Super Smash Bros., you have your Miis are in are in the game now and there's three different classes for each me there's the brawlers they fight with their fists of course sword fighters you have a sword and there's the gunners and it looks pretty interesting and they're also making it so you know everyone always wants new characters so now they're allowing you to be able to make your own new character and you know play against play against the characters in the game already so that's pretty interesting then after that they showed us another trailer, and this one was with everything in the 3DS. Like, a bunch of the new stuff in the 3DS game. Uh, after that, they started talking about the new thing. You know, like I told you about the Mario figure. It's there, It's called Amiibo. And just like, you know, Skylanders and I think Disney Infinity, it allows Nintendo players to use the physical figurines to change their game. So you can put it and like all it'll be different for any game and right now of course it showed in Super Smash Bros so it's pretty interesting that the figures will also evolve and mature as you play with them so the information from the game also goes into the figure so that's a pretty interesting thing that they're making Nintendo has always been like they've always made some pretty you know crazy things more in innovative kind of things and it looks pretty exciting. They also already another besides Super Smash Bros. They're also announced, um, announced for it's for Mario Kart 8. So we'll get to see probably those figures for the game too. After that, the next game they showed was Yoshi's Woolly World, and I love Yoshi. And this game looks super cute, super fun, and honestly, like they were talking, it's pretty much like you know, it's a a wool cotton kind of world. Like that's how it is, really. <laughs> It's really fun, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to get it. It looks like it's, it's not, it's more, they said um, Yoshi games are more, they don't have a time limit, they, you know, it's about exploration, and with everything in this world from, you know, the string, wool, yarn, all the kind of stuff you can unravel, and that's pretty much the basis of the game, and it looks really fun. I honestly think I'll probably get it if I had a Wii U. I don't have a Wii U, but who knows, maybe... And, yeah, so I think that comes out 2015, it said. The next thing they talked about was Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. Oh, it wasn't, they didn't talk about it, it showed a video of it, and it looks fun, too. Um, that game comes out 2015. The next thing, and this one I was really excited, was The Legend of Zelda for the Wii U. And, this is... Supposedly they're making it's like a huge huge world for players to explore so Like most of the time when you play a Zelda game, you're on a linear path. You have to follow this and go in this order Now they've made it so it's this huge world where you decide which way you want to go first Do you want to start this off or that off and The game looks really good. Um, 
I love my huge open world games. A lot of game um, game developers have been make you know starting to make these open world and to have a Zelda game on open world that sounds very exciting and I can't wait. So after that they showed Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and I'm probably definitely gonna get it. Pokemon games, you know, we all, we all love them. So I'm probably gonna get Alpha Sapphire, and yeah. So these are of course remakes, you know, uh, not um, they're of Ruby and Sapphire. So the next thing after that, the game was Bayonetta 2. It looked, it had a trailer of it. It was just a trailer. It, it looked good. It looked fun. And that arrives October this year. Yeah, October this year. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot to also say that um, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby will be coming out in November 21st this year. And the Legend of Zelda game for the Wii U will be coming out in sometime in 2015. That's all we know. So, after Bayonetta 2... What was it? Um, oh, what was... Oh, yeah, sorry. They had Hyrule Warriors. So this is, like, pretty much... It's from the developers of, you know, Legend of Zelda and Dynasty Warriors. So it's Dynasty Warriors with all the Zelda characters. And it looks really fun. If you play Dynasty Warriors, you know, it is a fun game. and But this time, now it's with all of the Zelda characters from, you know, different, all the, completely all of the Zelda franchise. So, it looks really fun. It's called Hyrule Warriors. And there's also a co-op thing where one player plays on the gamepad, all the other ones on the controller. So, you you know, you have your own screen. It's not split screen. And that is set to come out September 26th this year. So, after that, they showed like another another Wii U game. It was Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. So it looks like a cute game. I'm not too sure if I'm going to get it, but that game is set to come out sometime in 2015. After that, they had this cool trailer of Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U. And it's, of course, you know, it's a role-playing game. And it looks really good. And that comes out in 2015? Yeah, 2015. But the trailer was really good. I, I'm i thinking, I'm, like, if I had a Wii U, I'm still thinking of getting a Wii U. There's a lot of good games coming out next year. Most of the games are coming out next year. And, yeah, so after that was, for the Wii U, Mario Maker. Now, this looks super fun because you can, you're pretty much editing everything. You're making your own Mario game, pretty much. You have, you can raise, like, one of the green pipes. You could... Put this here, put a bunch of things here, and you could switch between the classic Super Mario or the new Super Mario World U, and it just looks super fun. Like, if you're a Mario fan, this is definitely something that you'll enjoy. And that will come out sometime in 2015. So after that, the last game they showed for the, the thing is a short, it was only like 46 minutes compared to... All the other ones which were like hour to hour almost two hours but this one was only out uh 46 minutes and the last thing they showed was splatoon and it's a brand new franchise for nintendo and it's this game where like you compete online and you're pretty much painting the area there's two teams and you're painting you're shooting like these paint guns out and whoever at the end of the game whoever has the most territory you know, colored in their paint wins and it looks really cute, really fun. Like, you can, there's so many different ways. Like, they're, the characters are s like squid girls, <laughs> and when you um you can when your area is covered in your paint, you can turn into squid and s like literally swim fast or jump over certain areas, and then you sh you can turn back to your regular form and start shooting. Your human form is when you're shooting and stuff. And the game looks pretty simple yet really fun. The map shows, like, where, um, in real time, where the paint is being splattered all over the place. So you know, oh, I gotta go there, or, oh, they're attacking this area. You could also jump as a, you know, as a squid into, like, all the way to your, where your teammate is. And it just, it looks really fun, honestly. Like, fun for the whole family, fun for you and your friends. It's, 
looks like a real like that would be a good game and it yeah it didn't I don't think they didn't put the release date for that so I'm not too sure about that so that's the end of the Nintendo digital event and it was pretty fun it was had a lot of fun things cool interesting things and like a lot of the games that they showed is for 2015 so gotta wait for those if you guys want it but they had a lot of interesting fun new things mostly you know as as always Nintendo they're evolving their own their, the franchises that they have nothing too new coming in so but yeah as I said if you want to discuss just comment below what you thought about the event what questions about what you you know a certain game that you want to ask me what I thought about that game and just comment below hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you know like to give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe till next time guys we gaming out